Hey guys, it's Mackenzie and Clint, and we're here at the Chateau Marmont in Hollywood, California for the Blu-ray DVD release party of Boyhood. Boyhood, of course, is Richard Linkletter's latest film. You know him from Dazed and Confused and School of Rock and a bunch of other great movies over the years. This is a movie he shot over 12 years and followed the, the growth of this boy uh, basically in real time. It's a really cool movie. We like it a lot at Cinefix, so we're very excited to be here to talk to some of the people that made it. Tell us a little bit about your first experience watching the film, seeing yourself 12 years earlier. Was it like a completely different person that you were watching on screen? Well, yes, it is. But also, oddly, I don't think most people go around watching their home movies all the time, you know, like some strange person. But as an actor, oftentimes you'll turn the channel and you'll see your younger self. But definitely, I think this last 12, 13 years has been a rapid time of growth for me, myself, as a human being, and I think also an important time for my character. Would you ever do something like this again? Oh yeah, this was an incredible experience, but it also was incredible not just because we shot a week a year, but because of who these people are. Rick told this story about the working class, about family struggling, about beautiful children growing up in a very, rare way he really broke all the conventions of how you're supposed to dramatically tell a story you're usually supposed to go the most dramatic scenario manipulate the audience in certain ways so I don't think even if anyone made a movie over 12 years again it, it could never have this quiet resonance this movie has so obviously you didn't really know what to expect going into this whole process. I just wanted to know about the expectations of when you were approached to do this thing over the course of 12 years. You know, what was that like? Right. Um, I don't know. I was six, so I don't really remember. Um, but throughout, you know, as I got older, I, I think, you know, we, we were kind of bracing ourselves for it not to really go over, you know, for people not to really get it because it... Because it's just weird, you know, and, and over the 12 years, you know, describing it to people, it's sort of, it's an abstract sort of concept, you know, and there's not, there's, there aren't many plot points that you can say, like, oh, hey, there's this exciting thing happens, you know, it's like, okay, it's over 12 years, but what happens? And so, you know, I don't know, we didn't, I tried not to have too high of expectations, so it's really just, you know, every everything that's happened this year has just been incredible. Yeah, so looking back at it now, you know, like it just talking and talking about it being a surprising process, like what were some of the most surprising elements like kind of along the way? Was there anything that just kind of floored you? Like, oh man, what did I get myself into? Making it? No, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I always had a pretty good idea of what I was, I mean, Richard, you know, was pretty, he had a pretty good outline from the beginning and he was always really open about that with me, you know, so I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, but I mean, I think the most surprising thing is just how big of a part of my life it became and how kind of meaningful it was and, you know, how much, uh, how big of a, you know, kind of reflection of myself it wound up being. Would you ever do something like this again? <laughs> I, I think we're all that. too old. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in walkers by then yeah, coming yeah, down yeah, the, yeah. the red carpet. Yeah, but so. the, probably the most gratifying thing I think for all of us is is ha like John said, working with Richard, but then having somebody with such a vision to be able to to have this vision and this story in his mind in 2000, 2001, and to be able to make make it such an incredibly beautiful story. It made the ordinary extraordinary. What were the biggest challenges for you? Um, biggest challenges. I won't say the budget because that was fantastic. Yeah, it's like so, reconstituting uh, a film every year. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was the same. It was, it, it was rinse and repeat. You know, we do the same thing over again, a little bit different. You know, a little bit different pile of laundry, but you know, doing the same thing over it, again. It was I, basically making twelve different movies. You know, one a year, short films a year, and then hoping they stitch together. Well, thank you very much to Paramount and IFC and the Makers of Boyhood for having us. We had a blast, super quick. It was, uh, it didn't take as long as the close to three hour movie or 12 years for that matter. Now we get to go into party, but it was really awesome talking to everybody on the red carpet because you can just tell how passionate everyone is about this film. Check out the Blu-ray DVD that is now out. Boyhood is awesome. It is. It's awesome, and it is out. We can confirm that. Here it is. Click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Stay tuned to more Cinefix. We're going to go party! That's Clint running away to party.